Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I'm out at Lucky Peak Reservoir today on a cold day. It's about 28 degrees out. That's a little bit below what the uh, Autel Evo Light Plus says. They, they say in freezing, but the sun's out. I think we're going to be fine. It actually, I don't even have any gloves on. It actually feels okay. Temperature is cold, but when you're in the sun, it doesn't feel too bad. But uh, as you can see behind me, we had some snow yesterday, a bunch of snow. Uh, and so we're going to kind of get a unique look at the reservoir here with all the snow covered mountains around it. So, you know, I'm still getting used to this drone. We're going to take off. We're just going to fly up the reservoir, fly around the reservoir, look at some different things. Uh, we may try some uh, panorama shots out, try a couple different things with the drone. And uh, yeah, that's about it. This is all about uh, scenic, looking things over and, uh, you know, getting used to fly this drone. I can tell you uh, the camera on this thing is amazing. So let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okie dokie, I've got a screen recording going so you guys can see. Uh, I'm just trying to decide if I should leave this in 4K 30 or shoot in 4K 60. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and shoot in 4K 60. Let's look at the safety menu first though. Uh, altitude is set okay. I'm going to set that return to home altitude way up there. I don't know, 100 meters. Yeah, well... 97 meters is going to be close enough. The thing is, if I get behind one of these peninsulas and stuff around here, I want the drone to uh, have the ability to get over the top. But uh, it's not asking for any kind of calibrations. And uh, so we can, yeah, I always forget, uh, this guy doesn't really tell you much about battery except for where you have your settings. So uh, let's go back. Let's get out of there. Uh, let's go into the camera menu real quick. And I want to shoot, I want to kick our frame rate up to 60 and uh, we will not be able to shoot in HDR at 60 frames per second. Uh, you know, I'm rethinking this guys because of we're going to have bright and we're going to have shadows. I want to be in HDR. So we're going to go back to 30 and HDR is on. Sorry for being uh, kind of wishy-washy there. I wanted 60 frames per second to get some of those sweeping turns, but I think HDR is more important. And in order to get HDR, you have to be in 30 frames per second. You can't be above it. So let's go ahead and, uh, and start recording now. Uh, so recording has started and uh, we'll do an automated takeoff here. Got a slider. And there's that drone. I like the way it kicks the props. Nice and steady. Look at that. We got 17 satellites. Obstacle avoidance is telling us where we're at here. Uh, so let's go ahead and swing him around and, uh, and give you a look at the drone. Yeah, I kind of got, you know, I'm kind of dark because it's facing the sun right now. But uh, let's, uh, let's, let's pick the drone up a little bit. And let's move it around and we'll do our droney. I'm kind of moving it around so we can back it out over the reservoir. And I'll drop that camera down so you can kind of see where I'm at here. There we are. So uh, reversing up now, reverse and up. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. And look at that, I mean, this little uh, viewpoint here is so cool to see it with snow on the side. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty cool. Yeah, we'll stop right there height-wise, and we'll just keep backing up here. Picking that camera up a little now. So, yeah, kind of giving you a look at the reservoir here with, uh, with snow on it. And, uh, you know, like I said, I think, I think using HDR in this situation is probably a good idea because we're going to have some really bright spots that are liable to get overexposed. And, uh, and we're not going to go over the dam, but I'm just going to show you that. Uh, obviously, it's critical infrastructure, but so we don't want to get any closer than what we are right now. However, uh, we'll, we'll go to the other side here where the boat ramp is and so forth. And uh, yeah, uh, nobody putting any boats in there today, is there? Uh, but, uh, but, you know, the water level is higher than what I thought I would find it this time of year. Typically, this time of year... They've got it pretty low because uh, 
they, they you know they want the winter snowpack to be able to uh, to fill the reservoir up. Uh, there's a series of three reservoirs here for off-stream storage because agriculture is so important in this area uh, that they they make sure that they uh, they have a lot of water saved up for irrigation, etc. Anyway, that's the boat ramp right there. The other thing that I can tell you about this particular drone that I really like is the, uh, let's just let's just go ahead and fly up over the top of it here. We will fly over the parking spot here. But anyway, what I was gonna say is what I really like is the transmission system that Autel has. I'm telling you what, it is, I think it's the best in the business. Uh, it's, it's everything that OcuSync 3 is, at least. I mean, I don't, it, it just, you really, you just never worry about signal or FPV, you know. So, most of the time, this parking lot down here, you are going to find it full of boats and boat trailers, uh, but not now. And this little draw, gosh, I'm trying to remember the name of this draw here. I should know that. I'm sorry that I picked that camera up so fast. Uh, so we can fly up that a little ways. And again, uh, you know, if, if I had a, and I'm dropping the camera down a little bit so you can kind of see it. If I had a different drone, I'd be a little concerned because I'm somewhat blocked by terrain here. Uh, however, this guy, because of this transmission system, I I'm, have a lot of confidence that I'm not going to lose. Uh, and the thing is, if you lost your connection and the drone tries to return to home and you have a mountain like this between you and the home point uh, you better have your return to home set high enough that it can get over the top and hopefully have obstacle avoidance so that your drone doesn't uh, fly directly into it now there we are right there I'm on that point right there I'm gonna pick the camera up just a little bit center it and let's move on forward I hear an aircraft way up there, airliner, no doubt, coming into the Boise Airport. Boise Airport's about, I don't know, 10 miles or so from here. Uh, but there's a lot of aircraft that fly right kind of next to the reservoir here on their way in. So anyway, we're, I think we're going to need to kick this guy into ludicrous mode so we can pick up some speed. But I kind of want to sweep around this peninsula here. So you guys can get a look and man, there's a reveal, huh? Look at the snow on those mountains. Holy guacamole, that looks good. So I'm gonna kick this guy into ludicrous mode and that shuts off obstacle avoidance. We know that and let's kick full stick forward. And I, I think the advertised top speed is 18 meters per second and we're there right now. We're over 18 meters per second. Uh, so that's good. Gosh, is this beautiful or what? And so again, I'm confirming that I'm glad I have HDR mode on because look, we're in the shade and the bright here. Uh, so that makes sense. We're gonna, let's go kind of go along the edge here and uh, maybe we can fly over the top of this area right here. This is a, uh, it, it's a kind of a picnic area. So when the reservoir is full, if you've got a boat, uh, you can see that little dock there. You can dock right there with your boat and you can picnic. And some of these even have restrooms. I think this is one of them that does. Let's uh, kind of slow down as we get over the top of it and drop the camera down and kind of take a look. And again, uh, the, one of the things also that I wanted to check here is like with some drones, when I get in this spot in particular right here, uh, I, I start losing uh, GPS satellites. But look, we still got 21 satellites, we're good. Well, I can't see this one here, but you, but you can see, there's another dock right there, and you can see those little uh, picnic tables and, and little shelters and stuff. In the summertime when it's 100 degrees, you're glad to have those, those little shelters. So let's continue on down the uh, reservoir here, or up the reservoir, I don't know which, and get a good look at the mountains. And we got some nice looking clouds as well. I'm gonna pick that camera up just a little more so we get more of the sky, blue sky, 
in the clouds. This is going to look really good and the camera on this drone is phenomenal. So I am really looking forward to see the video we capture off of this guy. Uh, 79% battery, so we're looking really good. Let's just fly over the top of this little peninsula right here. How high are we? 46 meters high. Always makes it a little more, uh, a little more interesting than just flying straight over the water. Uh, 20 satellite cell, and it even says strong. If you can, uh, it's on, on the screen recording there, you can see right over the top of it, strong. So it likes this number of satellites. Excellent signal. Man, I just can't say enough about this guy and uh, I, I mean I'm digging it let's look up this little draw right here and and again here's another situation if you fly up something like this you're gonna want to make sure you have your return to home set high because you would not want to be up there and then your drone uh, goes into RTH and it can't get up high enough to get over the top of this. So let's just kind of take a look here. We can do this, right? That's just, the, the, one of the things I love about drones is this kind of exploring. So there we go. So let's grab some altitude. Let's pick up and uh, let's go over, let's, let's just go over the, let's go up this a little ways here. As we go up the mountain here, and then we'll come up over the top and get back out over the reservoir. Here's a reveal. Look at this, folks. That's what I call a reveal right there. Very nice. Oh, that worked out really good. <laughs> that tickles the heck out of me right there. Yeah, this is beautiful. And again, uh, the signal strength is just awesome. This thing is, uh, I've got really good signal. No worrying, you know, perfect FPV. Uh, and I'm just looking at it on my, on my iPhone. I've got an iPhone 14 Pro, the, the smaller version, not the uh, Pro Plus or Max or whatever with the bigger screen. Uh, and, you know, in the wintertime, you don't have to worry about, uh, about your screen dimming or anything. So it looks good. So here's another, another leg of the reservoir. We're not going to go down that too far, but we'll go down that a little ways. I'll tell you what, there's a cold wind starting to blow here now, and the, 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 there's some clouds over the top of me, and man, it really cools it off fast. When you're in the direct sunlight and it's this cold, it doesn't feel too bad, but as soon as that sun goes away, holy guacamole. So here's another one of those, uh, and we'll go forward here, we'll take a look at this. This is another one of those picnic areas, and you can see those docks there. There's a ton of them there, and so you just dock your boat there and you have a picnic, or I think you can even camp there. So let's pick up that camera, and we'll just, we can go up this draw a little ways here. No reason why not. Go up the mountain. We're almost at max altitude, although actually we could go higher because we're AGL, we're not uh, too far, but we're at about 107 meters higher than takeoff point. So I'm not gonna get too carried away because again, I'd want the drone to be able to get back, but uh, let me kick that camera up so you can take a look up the mountain there and drop it back down. And we'll kind of uh, sweep around here. And bring it back to us here. Sweeping it to the side. And there we go. Back over the reservoir. Kick it forward. And how much battery? Oh yeah, we're at 63% battery. We're in great shape. Here's another little draw. Uh, and again, there again, if you went up that and you lost connection, you'd want to make sure you could get high enough. And we're at max altitude right now. You'd want to make sure you were high enough to get over the top of these mountains. So uh, discretion is the better part of valor. I'm going to turn around right here. And that was a little faster than I wanted to. But let's bring this guy back. 
at top speed and let's see how fast it comes back this direction see if we had a tailwind and we did because we were a little bit over 18 meters per second on our way out and it's about 16 meters per second now so still plenty fast that's about uh, I don't know 34 35 miles an hour something like that let's drop some altitude here we don't need to be this high and let's we can get closer to the edge and bring this guy on home and off to the right there you see some more of those uh, more of those picnic areas they do they just do such a great job at this uh, at this park this is actually and I've talked about this in other videos before this is run by the well the Army Corps of Engineers is who manages Lucky Peak and anybody that knows anything about the Army Corps of Engineers uh, you don't fly drones on their property however in this case uh, there is a permitting process uh, and I renew a permit annually uh, and I can't tell you I, you know I've heard people say that uh, they can be a little gruff sometimes but I can tell you the people that I deal with here in Idaho with the Army Corps of Engineers couldn't be more friendly and they make the process so easy it's free you just they just want to know who you are and they want to know when you're flying here what they what they tell me to do is they say listen we don't even you don't even have to ask us permission they said just send us an email so that we know you're going to be out and you're going to be flying and uh, and so that's what I do and uh, they, like I said they couldn't make it easier yeah, we got, gosh, we're still at 50-some percent battery here. And, and there's that last little peninsula that, you, uh, that we would get over the top of to get back to, uh, to, to uh, the viewpoint here that I'm at. And we're slowing down. There's some wind. I mean, look at that. We're down to 13 meters per second. So we'll kick it up here. Uh, We'll just, I think we ought to just fly right over the top of this so, so you can get a look at that. Let's see as we get closer if we need to gain in some altitude. We're 48 meters above our takeoff altitude right now. But let's just fly right over the top of this little peninsula here. I'm telling you, uh, I, uh, you know, I, I went through some issues with my first Autel drone that I ever owned was the little Nano Plus and had a few problems with that guy but have pretty much worked through them all uh, but I can tell you I think almost unequivocally this Light Plus is probably the best drone that Autel has ever produced. This thing is uh, so far for me has been flawless. And yeah here's this little road here and I know that here someplace there's a power line but I because I've seen it before However, uh, I don't think it's anything we have to worry about. I think we're plenty high enough. But it looks, like looks like somebody's plowed that road. Uh, so, yeah, there's somebody that has to have access back there, evidently. And so we can fly over the top of this right here. And I've, if you've watched my channel, you've seen this before. I'm picking up the camera just a little. This is Highway 21 goes up into the mountains, goes up to a little town called Idaho City that was a big gold, it used to be the biggest city in Idaho at one point. Uh, and it, that was in the gold mine days. I think there were like 40,000 people up there or something. Not like that now though. We might as well fly up this draw a ways. And when the reservoir is full, obviously this is full of water and boaters come up here and there's, the, there's picnic spots up there for them here as well. So, okay, let's turn around and let's bring this. And I see, look at our, our GPS. We got here in a place where it dropped down to 17 satellites, which I think is as low as it's been uh, since we started here. I'm going to turn us around, put us back into normal mode. We're kind of facing the sun here. And there you see the, uh, the reservoir in the distance there. So smooth and then normal normal 
standard. And let's do a return to home on this guy and let's see if how close we can get to the landing pad and it's gonna it's gonna go way up I don't know as you recall we set the uh, return to home height pretty high and I'll tell you there's a good reason I want to get back here it is getting cold there's a breeze that's come up and it is flipping cold uh, so yeah it's still rising it hasn't no forward motion yet but here we come here and you can see it's uh, pointed right back towards us yeah, and it's kicking right up to 10 meters per second, so coming right back to us. And you heard a car pulling out there. That's what that noise was. Maybe you can see him on camera now, too. Again, we're going to skirt, skirt, <laughs> skirt right on the edge of the highway there. And that's me dropping the camera down just a little bit as we come back. Yeah, boy, look at the reflection off the water there. That looks really good. And again, I'm glad that I left it in HDR mode uh, rather than 60 frames a second. And let's see if this guy will hit the landing pad. Man, this, I, I don't know, I really had fun on this flight, guys. I hope you did too. Uh, one of the things that I love about flying drones is doing this kind of exploring. You know, you can do things you know, the, the drone can take you places uh, that you couldn't otherwise go and you can see things and look at things that you couldn't otherwise do. So there we are down there. Let's uh, drop that camera down as we go and let's uh, see how close this guy, and it's at that 97 meter return to home height that we set, so it's way up there. It's going to take it a while to come down. But it'll tell us as it's coming down here. I, I can't remember what it says. It doesn't say precision landing. It says something. And you can look at that X is pretty close. Make sure point landing point is safe. So we'll see as it gets down here. It, see if it recognizes the uh, landing pad. If it doesn't, I'm not going to let it land in that snow. Don't worry. We'll cancel and we'll go from there. Let's see. Yeah, well, 29 meters. Is it going to see the pad? Yeah, I canceled there because uh, it didn't look like it was going to see it. So let's back it up here a little ways. Bring it over the top. Bring it over just a little, just a little bit more. Come on, come on. There we go. I think that's pretty close. I'm going to pull that left stick straight down, and it should lift the camera as it comes down. And it didn't. Well, good thing I was on the pad there. So lifting the camera manually, I that's odd. I thought this guy lifted the camera as it landed. So, uh. Okay, let me get everything shut down, and before I freeze to death, we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, uh, the Autel Evo Light Plus. These names, I mean, it just, you gotta, you get, you, I, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm old, but I, but I always have to think to remember. Okay, is it the Nano Plus, is it the Light Plus? I mean, they, they always, they put three or four names in there, and the Evo name is in there as well. In any case, enough of that. Uh, hey, fun flight here. I had a great time. Uh, running this guy up the reservoir and we got to look at some cool stuff. Got to go over the top of some of those little uh, peninsulas and mountains there and got a couple of pretty good reveals. You got to see what Lucky Peak Reservoir looks like covered in snow in the middle of winter. Uh, can't say enough good about this drone. Uh, I, you know, obviously I haven't seen what the video off the SD card yet, but I know it's going to look really good. So anyway, that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I really appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. So now I'm going to get all this put away and I'm going to get inside my truck and turn on the heater because it's flipping cold out here. See you guys later.